friends uh, good morning everyone in this video i am going to teach you about one transaction code so like how we have sap1 for all the sap reports there is a transaction code called sap2 which is providing all the analysis so these analysis mostly getting from the structures so it's not like uh, directly dynamic data will come mostly it will come but there will be data will be updated in the structures and from there the data will be fetching so analysis are uh, it's kind of um, clusters i can say okay it contains the data from multiple tables and the data is stored in structures and the, from the structures the data is getting fetched and showing for our analysis most of the management report analysis and all it will run so if you want to see this kind of analysis things go to sap2 let's go to our material management and inventory management for example you see the inventory here see material analysis nc.9 so you can check for the respective material type or plant wise you can run it so this material analysis or based on the period with the inventory analysis and all these analysis kind of it transactions are available under sap2 so mostly the management will use this one it will have the stock and value and the data is coming from the multiple uh, tables and it is stored in the structure and getting for that if you check with abap for that uh, logic also it is too complicated to get it because the sap itself has prepared these analysis and to provide for the management you can see the total what is the stock value and what how much value the stock is available okay what the consignment stock so this kind of analysis you can see and also for example abc analysis if you want to use it mc40 okay so you use is based analysis also you can get it lot of uh, analyticals uh, kind of management reports and all you can it's a cannot say like reports okay kind of analysis it has a data but um, it derived from multiple tables and all you can verify it so this is about material management inventory management for example if you go to purchasing okay purchasing values okay what are the purchasing value selections maybe if you go with vendor okay you can see this uh, vendor related data okay there are multiple analysis things are available you can use this sap2 to access all those things Thanks for watching. Have a good day.